Oh, as you can see, it's almost 600 degrees Fahrenheit. G'day guys and welcome back. Uh, you're probably wondering what's all this about. Well, today we're going to build a sand battery. So what is a sand battery? A sand battery is basically used to store energy into heat and then use that heat energy later on like a battery basically. So for example, I could use a solar energy and a heat element to heat the sand up, store the energy as heat. Then later on through the night, we can use this heat to heat our homes, run a thermal electric device and turn it back into electrical energy, um, heating water, for example. Um, yeah, a lot of different uses for a sand battery. Another great idea for a sand battery would be to use in a greenhouse or a solar hothouse during winter. Some climates where it gets really, really cold, it freezes over, you could have a decent size sand battery in your hothouse or greenhouse that will keep the frost out of your greenhouse. Hook that up to a couple solar panels and might be enough, produce enough heat just to keep your greenhouse or hothouse, you know, a good few degrees above outside temperature. So what we'll be using today is this old um, steel tub. It's probably about a 30 litre tub. I will probably only fill it halfway, but I'll use this tub. Got a temperature gun here, so we can check the temperature. This is just a water heating element that we'll be using today. Um, this is a 300 watt, 12 volt heating element. Just because we're a little bit nerdy at heart, I'll be using a watt meter as well, just so we could see how much watt is going into this heat element, just to satisfy the nerd inside of us. And obviously some sand, this is just um, from a hardware store sand, just like it's play sand. Just a word of caution as well, guys. Sand batteries can get hot, very, very hot. Like we can, we're going to get above, well above 100 degrees here today, guys. So keep that in mind. Um, yeah, we're playing with very hot materials here. You know, don't seal the container up. You're going to want to make sure that you've got some um, ventila ventilation. So if there is ever any water or moisture in this sand, you don't want it to be pressurized in a container. You always want to have a, a little bit where can, pressure can release. Got this tub just on a couple pavers just to pick it up off the ground a little bit. So we're good there. Got a bit of sand here. Maybe about five kilos, eight kilos worth. We'll tip, maybe tip half of this, our sand in. Put our heat element in, center just like that. Making a bit of a mess. Right, got my watt meter here. C thirteen point eight two volts. Plug this in. As you can see, 300, 350 watts going into this little heat element now. So this should heat up pretty quick, guys. We'll keep an eye on it, but this should heat up pretty quick. All right, guys, it's been 20 minutes later now. I forgot to mention to you, but yeah, you'll need an oven mitt as well if you're going to be touching anything to do with this. 
as you can see I'll put a tile on top here just to um, hold a bit of heat stop the heat from evaporating away a bit so we'll get our gun and we'll check as you can see we got 60 degrees on top of this tile here so that's Celsius 62 degrees or 146 I think I've seen there 144 degrees Fahrenheit at the moment on top of this tile remember to like and subscribe guys um, yeah let us know what you think in the comments I appreciate it I read all your comments so yep keep it up guys keep up the good work so over 200 degrees Fahrenheit there I just seen 215 and that's 90 99 degrees here we go 102 there so it's yeah we're getting the we're getting hot now guys 108 degrees 113 120 this has just been 20 minutes all right guys 40 minutes since we've started this test and we'll check out the side as you can see 28 degrees celsius just ambient around the place and if you get onto here it looks like it's a good eight degrees more on the side of this tub so the heat is making its way to the edges now which is good on top of the tile oh there we go 122 120 degrees celsius right got me mitts on let's check underneath this tile Oh, 150 degrees I just seen then. There you go, 186 degrees. You go four, 400 over 400 degrees Fahrenheit now, underneath this in 40 minutes. That's pretty impressive, guys. This will hold the heat for hours and hours and hours. Once I turn this heat element off, so you go 420 degrees there Fahrenheit, 179 degrees, 179 degrees Celsius, and 355 degrees Fahrenheit now in 40 minutes. As you can see, 325 watts still, so it's still working. All right, guys. This will be my final little bit of the video. I'm going to scratch just a little bit away from the heat element. See how hot it is close to the heat element. Oh, as you can see, it's almost 600 degrees Fahrenheit. It's crazy, guys. This is crazy. This has probably been about 50 minutes now. Or 280 degrees. I've just seen 290, almost 300 degrees Celsius. Pretty impressive guys there you have it this will keep warm for hours and hours and hours i hope you found this video interesting cheers for stopping in give us a like subscribe if you like this content and i'll see you in the next video